Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take a Google Sheet like this with a table and data and display it in a web app like this within a table here. And with that is you can make changes to your table here. And then once you refresh your web app, it'll display the new data in here. So what I'm using to display this is this HTML service templated HTML and this is a way you can display your Google Apps Script within your HTML and this documentation gives you many examples of how to do this. I'll be doing a lot like this with this for loop here right here so I'll put this link into the description of the video but uh, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google spreadsheet. I got it called Web App Display Google Sheet. Uh, my sheet name is Data. And this is my data, my table, that I'm going to display in my web app. And all it is is I got a header record here, which is my first row and I got just data underneath there and that is it no formulas or anything here just the data here so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Google Apps script code I'm going to go to tools script editor so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my project a name web app display Google sheet I'm going to hit OK Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my Google Apps Script code. So now I got that copied. I'm going to hit Save. Next thing I'm going to create my HTML page. So I'm going to hit New HTML File. I'm going to call this Display Sheet. And it's the same name that's up here. Exactly the same. Hit OK. So now I got my basic setup for my HTML file. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy in my HTML code. I got to paste, paste it in. I'm going to save it. Uh, I will provide the HTML code and the Google Apps Script code in the comments section underneath the video so you can copy and paste it as well. First thing I'm going to go through is the Google Apps Script. Uh, I start off with this do get statement. This is a standard Google Apps Script function here. This actually gets the HTML file up and going. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a template from file and it's important to use this because I'm going to be using the HT templated HTML within my HTML. So I'm going to be putting tags with Google Apps Script in my HTML. So you want to create your file, create template from file to do this. And then I'm putting my HTML file name in there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate. And what that does is that renders my sheet and that actually gets my HTML file displayed on the screen after I deploy the web app here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my HTML file. So from here this is all basic information here. The next thing is my my uh, header record here, my H1 record which is just my title basically of display Google Sheep web app and the next thing I'm doing is creating a table so my beginning part is here my end part is down here the next thing I'm going to do is I'm calling this Google Apps Script function here that says do get sheet data I'm setting up a variable of table data and basically this is going to be an array that I'm going to have coming back and I, I got my template HTML tags around that so that is Google Apps Script code being called. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to find my get sheet data. I got my spreadsheet set up here. I got my data sheet from my data sheet down here. Name. And then I got my data range. And from my data range, I got get data range. That's getting all the data that's populated here. So it's grabbing all this 
and then what I'm doing is I'm getting the values of that data range which this data values is an array of my table and then from there I'm returning that so this is an array and that comes back to my HTML so I have this defined so table data this is a dimensional multi-dimensional array so the table data has one two three four five six seven eight rows of data in it starting with zero and then from there each row has its own little array so each row has its array starting with this so this is zero one two three four so again this outer loop takes me through each row this inner loop takes me through each column so the J will represent the columns so I'm doing my length here of my table cutting through each row and then for my header record I'm using the th tags for the first row so if I equals zero if the next row comes up it's going to put the td tags on there which is just a normal table row display for HTML and that's cutting through each column of the row here to display it within these tags and then I got it closed with the row tags here for each one of my for each one of my rows and then I got it closed out with a table so that is it it's it's a pretty basic setup here it is looks kinda jumbled up but it actually has one for loop on the out and two inners one for the header and one for all the rest of the rows that's basically it of the code here the next thing I'll do is I'll publish it so I'll go up to publish deploy web app I click new hit deploy go through authorization click my account click advanced click get web app display Google Sheets I'm allowed to create delete now here's the URL that I can copy and paste but I'm just going to go with the latest code with my developer URL here and there's my table and again I could go in here and make updates just as a test like that come over here update it and now I got two additional columns in there and uh, another thing to point out with this if I make another code change in here of some sort you have to go back in and reversion your project here that's if you want to change your your uh, what I would say your production URL here this would be the URL you hand out to people if you want other users to use it but if you're just testing and you're making small changes and you just want to test each change you have without doing versions you can click this latest code and that gives you the test link and the test link ends with DEV right here where the other one ends in EXEC so that concludes this video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below the video until next time